Hello. My partner and I will be experimenting with the flux reaction. The flux reaction is a high school chemistry lab to help students learn the concepts of kinetics and how kinetics can affect reaction rates. The flux reaction provides students with a hands-on lesson which provides a sudden and dramatic reaction to help students visualize the concepts as they happen. It is also very practical in a high school application as it is a quick run time and a short cleanup. For these reasons I have mentioned, this lab is run in abundance in high schools across the country. As organic chemistry students, we were challenged to green the flux reaction. The term green comes from a chemistry philosophy to design chemicals, products, and processes that reduce or eliminate the use or generation of hazardous substances. The flux reaction we were challenged to green was the iodine clock reaction. It takes place in two equations. In equation one, all takes place in an acidic condition. And in this case, it's hydrochloric acid. Iodine ion reacts with bromate to form iodine. That's represented in the second equation. Iodine then reacts with biosulfate and reverts the iodine back to our initial ingredient of iodine ion. What's important to know is during solution, during equation one, our solution will be completely clear. In solution two, or equation two, it will be clear until biosulfate is completely used up and can no longer convert iodine back to iodine ion, which will allow starch present in the solution to suddenly turn our mixture purple. So the vitamin C iodine is greater than the traditional iron. It is readily available to be disposed to in the environment. Yeah. Ascorbic acid is used instead of hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen peroxide is used instead of the bromate ion. And lupus reagent is used instead of ammonium molybdate. Safety precautions and hazard for this experiment are wearing a lab coat. Wearing eye protection, an iodine does stain most surfaces, and therefore wearing gloves to prevent staining of the skin on your hands is recommended. Be aware of hot plate surfaces and allow for glass to adequately cool before handling of any papers. When hot plates are not in use, be sure to turn them off and unplug them. As always, be sure to follow any additional instructions given by your instructor. Okay, the vitamin C clock or the green clock reaction takes place also in two equations and in an acidic condition must be present in equation one, the same as in traditional. However, ascorbic acid or vitamin C is used to create that condition. Again, we're starting with iodine ion. It reacts with, in this case, hydrogen peroxide to form our iodine, which is represented in equation two. Equation two here, iodine reacts with ascorbic acids to form and to transfer iodine back to iodine ion, the same as our starting reactant. Again, in equation one, our solution will be clear. Once the ascorbic acid is used up, and iodine can no longer be converted back to iodine ion, our solution will turn purple. Wow.